Welcome to the stream. If you're watching later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. I was feeling a bit more retro today, so I'm going to play a game I also haven't played since I was a kid. It's not a long one, but you know what? The sounds of it will make me happy. Just remember that the Game Boy is extra loud, so let's... Yeah, let's do that. There we go. I got the puke green filter. <laughs> But I figured just to open the stream today, uh, since it's not a long game, play through it. I mean, this is what Portable Mario used to look like. I'm still getting used to the jump because it feels so different. It's not quite the same as, like, Mario 1's jump physics. And, yeah, I mean, sound effects and music, different. It's still fun. That means I already have it. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't just give me points, it's okay. Makes you feel bad. I was always confused by... Because I thought this was the Fire Flower, but I mean, it's not. It's the, the Super Bowl, I think this is what it's called. But this music makes me happy. The soundtrack to this game is just happy. I feel like something like this wouldn't get as much playthrough as one would hope. Like, Super Mario Land 2, obviously, is, is the, uh, I think the one that's talked about more. Because it's longer and just looks more like a Mario game. I still like this one for what it is, though. This was just insanely hard to play as well on, uh... The very thick boy. Because <laughs> motion blur. Like, try precise platforming with a motion blur thing going on. Because the screen's just not uh, great. But still made do. Play this so differently. Usually I'm holding the run button, but in this one I'm kind of afraid just because I'm not used to the, uh, the jumping. It just feels so different. Right, I forget. <sighs> Hitbox. I may have just made things hard on myself. Oh, 
I mean, I do like how it subverted expectation. Especially if you're familiar with Mario 1. <sighs> Come on, man, you're better than this. It's because I lost this... this ball. I've made things harder. <laughs> I love this as well, because, again, subverting expectation, right? Oh no, instead of Toad, you get... just this. Oh right, it's Daisy, not P yeah. It's Daisy as well in this. Yes! Alright, that made up for all the lives I lost. And more happy music now. Fish are not nearly as bad as, uh, as what you have to go through in Super Mario 1. I, mean, I guess I wanted to hear the theme here as well. Don't lose this. This is the carry. Oh. Good enough. But yeah, if you look at the difference between this game and what they did with Mario Land 2 and even Wario, it's just... They really did get the hang of the Game Boy. down there. Okay, there we go. Star. sniped. Oh yeah, and the exploding Coopers. It's another one I never quite understood is why they explode. Oof. Almost butchered that. Something I'm surprised I didn't bring back. Oh, damn it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the stage. The submarine stages were awesome. This was something you did not get in uh, Mario 1. And it's a water stage that I enjoy. <laughs> it's a rare thing. I mean, it's, it's a shmup, effectively. Like, it's not really a water stage. But more happy music. I play through this just it's fun and it's something very short and you know with this analog pocket thing that it, it just that nostalgia hit I mean the filter here is not doing its justice when it's in um, handheld mode I also had one of the coolest uh, covers as well. The artwork for it was great. I don't even know what that thing's supposed to be. Is it like a jumping totem? Jump. Ugh, not happy about that one. But the jumping in this game is just something I never completely mastered like I did Mario 1. Like, I, don't, I just don't have that confidence level where I can just hold the run button and just go. I did not get them. I guess because it was harder. Like, the motion blur thing. It just, I always play with a bit of caution could not just run. To some degree I just had to double double check the jump every time. Whereas in Mario 1 it was just it all became muscle memory. Just stage starts, don't let go of the run button. Pretty good. Yes, this is the this is the good one. Free one up, basically. How's it going? Oh, 
All right, keep going. Oh yeah, right, the rideable rocks. I mean, I guess you see these appear in Super Mario World. They're not rideable, shit. <laughs> There, there. Come, I hope I had a good sleep. Ah, I slept. Wouldn't say it was good, <laughs> but enough to make me functional during the day at work. Let's just say. Ooh, this is bad. Oh, yeah, that works. Got it. It's fine. Coffee got me through the day. I'm... I'll just sleep well tonight. It's all good. I'm not planning on doing anything over the top today. But I figured I'd open with this because I felt like doing something retro. And uh, this is short. Something I also haven't played in a long time. And another soundtrack that just makes me happy to hear. Now that I think about it, the exploding Koopas, I'm surprised they haven't used it in another game. That's just... <laughs> First Game Boy game beside Tetris. Yeah, that's <laughs> pretty much the case. Um, I didn't have this game. My uncle had it. Had it, the, uh, the brick Game Boy. Had this in Tetris. Shit. But yeah, I, I played it that, that way. Just, I just, I'm not confident with the platforming in this, just because I could never get it to the point of uh, the NES, you know? Just, the motion blur was too damn strong. You couldn't just run because you just weren't ever sure. Like, that gap there! <laughs> Sucks. I just don't have the muscle memory for this one. Crap! Ugh, oh, this... This is horrible. <laughs> Without the power-up, it's so hard. I don't think I can do anything about it. I just suck it up. No, I just gotta be more patient, that's all. Oh, that's a dick. <laughs> dick move. How many? Okay, I still, I still got lives. I still got lives. Ah! I slipped. <laughs> oh no. I touched the roof. Last lives for this. <laughs> this 
so tense. That's... Okay. Ah! I didn't see the one on the ceiling. Traction. No, I was right there. Okay. Oh. This is wording me out because in my headphones it's... The coins are on the right hand side. I can hear it. It's like a distinct left and right channel. Okay, don't fuck up. Don't. That's it. Ah! Damn it, I needed more lives. Alright, that's fine. Stage is done. If only the points actually became lives. I can't think of a single time I ever cared about points. I mean, outside of Mario 3 where it mattered. But never made it a thing of like, oh yeah, I got this high score. <sighs> Damn it, this time. Thank you. And it's gone. still here. Can I hold on to the one up for more than five seconds, please? There we go. That was ten seconds that time. <laughs> What's wrong with you know what? It's fine. I, I can be here all day. It's okay. Oh, I fell for it. I mean, eventually my lives will increase. I'll earn a hundred coins and then, hey. Like, I could stay here forever. Wouldn't be entertaining, but I could very well just live here. Nothing in it? Okay. Oof. Forgot what that is. Take the hit! It's fine. It's okay. The important thing is the stage is done. What is the spider daisy?
Damn it. That's unfortunate. This was one of the cooler themes. Just very distinct. This game's dry bones. Give super flower, please. Super ball. Super ball! <laughs> Damn it, it was about to give me it. That was it! Pipes did it. Maybe not. <laughs> ah! Finally. Okay. Life is good. Right, I could collect coins, I forgot about that. <laughs> Too much for it. A little bit of slowdown. Hey! Why? <laughs> I couldn't turn around. Okay, I messed up. <laughs> Dude, what is wrong with me? Stop. <laughs> You're wasting. I've wasted the three lives. I can't remember if you can jump on these things. about the explosion!
that was close. Yeah, that's gone. <laughs> it's dead to me. Ah. Okay, it's a checkpoint at least. Do it, but thank you. Wait, I'm overdoing it. Oh no! <laughs> the ceiling! I rushed. take it. Oh, of course. It's <laughs> a stage where it doesn't matter. It's important. Ha <laughs> 
Get fisted. Getting a little sweaty, that. Alright, there you go. Short and sweet. I still like playing through this game. The music makes me happy. For how simple the game is as well. It's just... It's a lot of fun. It's just, yeah. Something about Game Boy games. I don't know why. Cool. So, yeah. Uh, that was me playing through this old thing, but... Uh, I do want to do more of these Game Boy games, just... So many, you know. Uh, but I think next time I play a Game Boy game, it'll probably be Warrior Land 3. Because I've been wanting to play that one for a while, and it's one that I haven't actually played, so... Should be a, a lot of fun, I think. I mean, some of these, they're, they're really short, like, you could probably finish them in an hour or two. So, I think they make good little... Well, not introductions, but I don't know. Warm up. Let's call it a stream warm up. Yeah, because uh, it doesn't take that much of a commitment compared to, say, I don't know, playing Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> playing it late at night. Oh, man. Anyway. For reference, because, uh, yeah, I, I played Donkey Kong last night. And it took longer than I thought it would, so I was up late. But this definitely knew I could do this in under an hour. And there we go. I got the high score. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, yeah, small two to five minute break and then we'll do Zelda. So don't go anywhere. But if you're watching this later on YouTube and enjoyed this little walk down memory lane, um, yeah, thank you for watching. But also... Please consider pressing buttons for algorithm stuff. Or let me know, comment-wise, if you want to see more retro stuff or something in particular, and I'll give it some consideration. Alright, bye, YouTube. <laughs>